Well, hi, everybody. Yes, I've been banished to the downstairs bathroom. Uh, I tested positive for COVID, and both my sons did, but my wife still hasn't. So she's hiding in the other side of the house, and we've been banished to our little COVID caves. Both sons are in their rooms. I'm up in my little nest upstairs. <laughs> but it's all very mild, so we're okay. And I got to shave, man. Yeah, just because you get sick, as long as you feel okay, got to keep keep taking care of yourself. Don't let it all go. I know that's the uh, kind of like, I have been eating more comfort food the past couple of days just because I've been so bored, stuck inside. <laughs> but it's time to shave down here in the downstairs bathroom. Um, I was able to just grab a couple things, bring them down here. You've seen this bathroom before. This is the one where I hooked up the uh, that crazy water jet thing to this and shaved in there. Anyway, you've seen this this bathroom a couple of times. Okay, Ooh, here we go. We're using the thorn and the Barbasol down here. And I forgot to get some uh, aftershave. So you gotta make do. Now, I, yes, I could have put the mask on and gone back upstairs. I didn't wanna go back into our shared bathroom because my wife's got a good track record. So what I did was just look around here in the kids' bathroom. And sometimes my mom uses this bathroom when she stays. So she like squirrels away a little package of uh, toiletries, kind of like I do at her house and uh, at my in-law's house. And what I found was this, Jergens Original Scent Cherry Almond. Now, I didn't purchase this, neither did my wife. I don't know where it came from. Somebody that came to our house at some point left this here in the medicine cabinet in the kids' bathroom. And Cherry Almond, oh my God. You know, I didn't realize that Jergens smelled like Cherry Almond. I had no idea. Now, I went through all of high school not being familiar with Jergens. Believe it or not. Okay, that's the, I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of that. It's probably not great for your face. It's pretty thick, but hopefully it'll smell good. And uh, hopefully I can still smell it with the COVID. Because sometimes you lose your sense of, now I lost my sense of taste back in the 90s. I think I've told you this before, where I can't really fully taste the full spectrum of flavors. I can still smell stuff. So I've always been worried that I wouldn't be able to. But anyway, time to shave. I took a shower, I did my hair. Ooh, it looks like I'm going bald. This lighting here is a lot different. Okay, I'm gonna put some hot water on my face. Ah. Yes, I did shave yesterday, but I shaved with the uh, straight, uh, straight razor, oh my God. I shaved with the, ooh, I don't have a mirror here. Oh, but you know what? My mom left the mirror, so when I have this open, look, la la la. I'm gonna try to put this, oh God, it's one of those ones where you have to go like this. So I can't, Okay, I'm gonna put that back. Sorry, mom, I can't use yours, but I, I'm gonna have to use the phone to shave with. I'm gonna have to look into the screen. Ooh, I can do that. I can shave by, you know, I could shave in the dark, probably. I wouldn't know if I'd cut myself or not, but I could do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking in the phone here. That's interesting. I hadn't even thought about it. Because normally I have, when I open my cabinet upstairs, the mirror door is mirrored on the inside, so I use that to look into, and then I talk to y'all in here. Anyway, okay. Enough yakking, let's start shaving. So we got the thorn down here. Uh, I think I just put a new blade in it fairly recently. Oh gosh, I was looking over here. I'm, I'm all discombobulated, I'm trying to do it like this. So anyway, yeah, we're all fine here. We got to, luckily, all of us are vaccinated, boosted, and I'm wondering, somebody uh, mentioned in the comments that, you know, with my recent weight loss of like 40 some odd pounds, uh, that probably put me in a good position to keep me strong. Because it seems like with this new thing, everybody's going to get it eventually. But hopefully this, this will be the thing that just makes it endemic, you know? I don't want to talk too much about it because, you know, it's one of those things. And I certainly don't want, if you're not a medical expert... If you get your medical advice from memes on Facebook from your crazy Uncle Frank, I don't want to hear about it. You got me? I believe in science, and I trust what doctors are telling me. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, yes. Having said all that, it is a gloomy, rainy, cold day outside. I was going to take a walk. Yesterday, I felt I've been feeling fine. Just a little, you know, runny nose and blowing my nose a little bit. And the kids had a little bit of a cough. Nothing too bad. Yesterday afternoon, I started feeling a little bit lurgy. A little bit of that old dreaded lurgy. Nothing too bad, though. I watched some movies. But I tell you, I don't like being trapped 
not being able to do stuff because I am such a creature of exploration. <laughs> I love to get out. And now I did that. I have been doing that. I've been just getting in my car and driving around, not going anywhere, not getting out, just driving around and looking at life because I just have that urge, that desire. I can't just sit around too much. It drives me crazy. So I'll probably go do that in a little bit because the kids are perfectly happy, perfectly happy in their rooms. My youngest, I'll go in there and check on him and bring him, you know, food or whatever he wants. And he's underneath the covers watching his iPad. And I was a little worried at first. I was like, uh-oh. Why is he under the covers? Does he, does he feel weird? Does he feel bad? And so I asked him about it yesterday afternoon. I said, I was kind of concerned about you, buddy. You, you know, you, every time I go in there, you're under the covers. And uh, he said, well, it's kind of like, and he's, he's young. He's very young. And he said, it's kind of like going to the movies. It's like dark and I can see just the screen. I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, I'm putting my 51 year old, uh, you know, thinking too much about uh, what kids are going through or what I might've gone through when I was a kid and not realized how innocent he still is. Okay. Ooh, man, I tell you what. Look at this. Ooh, God, the light came on. <laughs> now it's time to tell scary, scary stories about shaving in the downstairs bathroom. This is the original bathroom in this house, by the way. I'm trying to turn that off. Um, these are those, you know, those ones where you get oh, foggy. Oh, gosh, every time I do that, it's got a touch screen thing. Look at my eye. Uh, that's kind of it. Gives you that up close and personal look that sometimes you don't want to see. You see every pore in your face. All right, let's do a second pass and then we'll be done. We'll get dressed. We'll go see what's going on. Make a cup of coffee. Say hello to the kids. Say hello from a distance to the wife. I think I'll be going back uh, to work on Wednesday. I will get tested again on Tuesday just to make sure. And uh, yeah, so that's the situation from here. So yeah, this is the original bathroom in this house, actually. So this house was built in 47. So if you think about it, I mean, this was a two bedroom, one bath house. Very small, modest, post-war, solidly built. This whole neighborhood I'm in is, is all the same builder and all the same time frame. And we did some upgrades years ago to make it more livable and add some space. But uh, yeah, this is the original bathroom. And the great thing is it's got this built-in dirty clothes hamper over here, right over here behind you. It's one of those things that's built-in shelves, built-in drawers, small bathroom, 1940s. Now, they, you know, this tile is new and all the fixtures and stuff are all new. But I guarantee behind this cabinet right here is a hole in the wall where there's hundreds of rusty razor blades in the wall because it was there and then we switched out the uh, the medicine cabinet and this is before I started doing this kind of shaving so I didn't really realize what was going on. But I would love to remove this uh, medicine cabinet and look behind it and see, maybe stick a, stick a string down on the wall. Because I actually met, one day a few years ago, I was at home by myself and I saw a car pull up out front and there was about, I think it was, what was it, two ladies or, th or four, like two, you know, adult women and, uh, you know, a teenager and a younger girl. And they were taking pictures of the front of the house. I was like, what the heck? Because one time there had been a talent scout in the neighborhood that needed to do some filming because they do a lot of filming here in Austin these days. Sometimes they use your house or your front yard, you know, that kind of stuff. So I thought it was something like that. And it turns out she actually used to live here. For a very long time, like from the 50s through the 70s, and her mom lived here forever. And I knew that. Uh, I knew her mom because I'd done the research on who all had lived in this house since the 40s. And there had been a lot of, you know, renters and stuff. But then from the early 60s until uh, the women that owned this house before us bought it, it was a lady named Betty that owned this house. So this was Betty's house. And this was Betty's daughter who had grown up in this house. So... Now, it had changed. Like I said, we had changed it a lot. Uh, there were still certainly aspects of the house that she recognized. So we went inside, and she got to look around and see how her childhood home had changed. She showed me a couple of pictures of inside the house from the 60s. It was so cool. Picture outside the house with a 50s car parked in our driveway. I was like, ah, I wish that car was still there. Anyway, and she talked about this bathroom. And I think the bathtub is still original. It's heavy duty, like cast iron with enamel on it, you know? And, uh, and the hamper, well, listen to this, that's the hamper closing, it's solid wood. And she said there were a couple of times where she slammed her finger in that thing when she was a kid. <laughs> so I just imagine all the times 
people stood in this very position, like her dad and whoever else lived in this house. A couple of professors at the university, and there was a lithographer or something, you know, and shade in this very location. And the razor blades are still right there. I wish I could put some of my razor blades in there. One of these days, we're going to do that's going to be a video because I'm guaranteed this thing is just stuck on here, you know. I'm not sure how it's attached to the wall. I can't quite tell. I'm looking around. <laughs> this old house with Sinatra Leonard. You know what? That feels good. I have a sink, a real sink that I clogged up. Oops, clogged up. Stopped. And I got water in the sink. I got a normal sink, not a giant trough with a little emesis basin. <laughs> and now I'm going to put some hot water on my face. For... Sorry, it's cold water. Now, I don't know how to tell if I have any nicks. I thought I saw one right there, but I just can't tell. Oh, how about if I do this? Hmm, the mirror on the other side. Okay. Yeah, there's the back of the mirror. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, I gotta dry my face off. All right. And now, just a teeny bit of this original scent. Ooh. That's just like, I mean, because it's, it's probably so thick, you don't need a lot of it. <sighs> yes, I can smell it. It's a very mild cherry almond scent. It's nice though. I had no idea. Somebody told me that. Uh, somebody I work with. I smelled like some, she walked by and said, what is that? It smells like, you know, cherry. I said, oh, it's just Jergens lotion because cherry almond scent. I said, what? No idea. No idea. Sorry, I'm cleaning off the, because uh, when you fill up your sink with water, with standing water in your shade, you get all the whiskers. Be sure to clean all that off so nobody else comes in there and sees nasty soap grime whiskers all over the sink. Just do your part to make your home better for yourself and for everybody that lives with you or visits you. Let's see, how are we, how we doing here? Ooh, I don't, yeah, I don't think I've got any nicks, but man, I'll tell you what. That's how you shave. Even down in the bathroom, even, even quarantined down in the bathroom. You got your arsenal with you? That's all you need, baby. Oh, and the jerkins too, of course, yes. Oh, and this little tiny mirror that doesn't really do anything for you. <laughs> Unless you want to stare at your eyeball. Okay, everybody. Thanks for joining me down here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I hope you were wearing your mask during this video. And, uh, oh, let me show you what I take. This is my secret weapon, being a voiceover guy. And whenever I start to get congestion, and I'm talking about COVID or otherwise, Mucinex X Maximum Strength. Oh, this stuff will knock the crud out of you. Believe me, won't it? I believe... Now, like I said, I'm not going to take advice. I'm not a medical doctor, so don't take my advice. And if you just got your medical advice from dumb memes on the internet, I don't want to hear. But that stuff works really well for me, and it gets the crud out, and I'm going to take one here in a minute. They're like horse pits. Though. These things are huge. Look at this thing. You really choke to death trying to get one of these suckers down. Look at that. Oof. Anyway, going to do that. Going to get ready, get dressed, and uh, it's kind of cold and rainy outside. We'll see what's going to happen. I'll probably go take a drive. Have a great week, everybody. Um, if you're like I am, I hope you get well. If your family is sick, I hope they get well. Take care of yourselves. Go get vaccinated if you haven't already. Go get boosted if you haven't already. Go take a walk if you haven't already today and drink lots of water, okay? Drink at least 64 ounces of water every day. Just start in the morning, do it in the afternoon. Don't do it towards the evening because then you'll be up all night peeing. <laughs> Advice, take it or leave it. Okay, see y'all later, bye. Oh, go in this direction.